the stories you need and want on the 33 News at 9. Two-thirds of the world's surface is covered by water, but our faces just can't get enough hydration. Well, until now, oxygen-infused facials are here to pump up the volume. Health care reporter Barry Carpenter joins us now. Is this just a lot of hot air, Barry? I don't think so. I think there's something to, uh, something to this, Walt. The concept is simple. Dry vitamins and antioxidants deep into the skin to erase fine lines and wrinkles. They say beauty is skin deep, but at $200 a treatment, oxygenated facials are taking beauty to a nether level. It's all the rage in Hollywood. Madonna swears by it. So does Naomi Campbell, Eva Longoria, Fergie, and 30-year-old Marlon Beard. It's very cool and refreshing. Marlon is undergoing her third oxygen-infused facial. The delivery pin can be loaded with different agents to super hydrate the skin. Marlon is having vitamins and minerals delivered deep into her lips, cheeks, and forehead. It feels like my skin's just waking up. Dr. Greg Anigan says nature designed the skin to be a barrier to keep things out, but oxygen infusion pushes nutrients deep into the skin. Sometimes it's, it's also useful to be able to, to push some things into the skin that we want to get there, and then this is a tool that can do it. Dr. Anigan says oxygen infusion can also be used to treat hyperpigmentation, dry skin, and even acne. We can get high doses of antimicrobials into the skin where the acne is located and we're better able to treat it. Marlon is just looking to erase fine lines and wrinkles and halfway into her treatment she can see and feel the results. Instantly hydrated. I don't know if you can tell the difference between this and this. Marlon says her friends did right after her first treatment. Today's treatment should last about three weeks and after her sixth and final treatment, the benefit should last about three months. So instead of it just being topical and some lotion that washes off overnight or wears off within a day, this is actually something that um, is going to stay in your skin for a longer period of time. And at the not so ripe old age of 30, time is already her enemy. Getting older, aging, I want to be proactive with um, staying young and keeping my, my skin healthy. Barry Carpenter, The 33 News.